Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Chucky2009 and I make welding videos. Tonight I am very happy to bring you the first ever episode of a little something I like to call Stretches Useless Welding Related Fact of the Day, uh, which is a series I'm making about bits of welding information that are good to know but not entirely deserving of a full-fledged instructional video. So here in episode one we're going to be talking about is it or is it not a good idea to quench your welds uh, once you're done welding them. Why are we talking about this? Because it's that time of year when a lot of people head back to school, especially those who are, you know, starting to take welding classes through, say, a high school or a tech center like what I went to. And pretty much as soon as we started welding, our teacher took us over to this big steel tank, which I later started calling the fishbowl. No one else called it that, though. <laughs> and he's like, all right, now when you're welding on something vertical or overhead or whatever, and it's getting really hot and it's getting to be you know, a little bit tricky to weld, all you do is you bring it over here, you quench it in this tank, you let it cool, you go back and you continue welding on it. But he was very insistent upon saying, whatever you do, don't do this to anything that's actually going to go on a project because it really, really weakens the metal. And now there's this debate going around on the interweb about what exactly it does to the metal. I've got four welds that I just ran here with some eighth inch. Lincoln 6011 on DC electrode positive over here with the precision TIG. And basically the two on the left, I left sitting out on my bench just to uh, sit there and cool. And the two on the right, as soon as I was done welding them, I quenched them in water. And I let them stay down there until they were cool to the touch. A little bit different than just dunk them, dunking them in a tank to let it cool down a little bit. But hopefully it will amplify whatever effect the water has on the weld. So anyway, I'm just going to take these, I'm going to tack them up along my bench and we're going to start hammering them apart. So now let's take a look at the aftermath YouTube over here on the regular air cooled welds. You can see we have a uh, pretty nice clean straight break down the middle there. Whereas with the quenched welds we have well pretty much more of the same just like that. And so well you know the biggest difference I saw between these welds wasn't actually in the number of hits they took just in the difference in the way that they actually broke. With the air cooled welds you know, they'd start going, they'd go a little bit more, but they'd still be hanging on by a thread and they'd take some persuasion to finally separate. Whereas with the welds that we, quen that we quenched, they seemed a lot more brittle. I mean, they'd be really rigid at first, then they'd just snap and they were done. So, anyway, I definitely think the quenching a weld will make it more brittle. And if you're practicing on some scrap metal or whatever, it is totally okay to quench your welds. Uh, however, if you're working on an actual project or anything that's going to have any sort of weight uh, placed upon it, anything where strength is important, really not a good idea. And if, you, uh, and if you'd like to see more of these episodes, which will hopefully be shorter in the future, or if you have ideas for an episode, please just let me know in the comments. Anyway, have a nice weekend everybody, yeehaw!